what's happening at BC Spirits? BC Spirits, Spirit of Day, number 328. Brand spanking new stuff. I've got brand spanking new stuff all this week. I'm really, really excited. I got some packages in the mail. So thank you for the distilleries that support BC Spirits. It really does mean a lot to me. If you watched my episode earlier this week, it is a huge expenditure to put on BC Spirits. So I appreciate all the distilleries that send me products and help me out in that in that regard because it's really important to me for me to keep going on with this. Um, the BC Spirits cocktail book is coming out in May. I've just got so much stuff going on for BC Spirits. I just want to keep pushing along. Um, and I'm a one-man show, so it's really difficult to keep up when you're by yourself. Um, brand new today, the Brewerwood Akavi. Now, you guys all know how much I love my Akavi. I love, love my Akavi. I've got a couple in the freezer right here, right now. Um, Bruinwood's made a fantastic Akavi. They've done some grand, fantastic stuff. I think I did their, what did they do the other day? Did I just do their vodka the other day? I feel like I just did their vodka the other day. Um, so a beautiful caraway, dill, fennel, coriander, citrus. I believe this is probably going to be wheat based as well. Um, because most of their spirits are wheat based. Let's give this a roll. I'm really looking forward to this. I love my Akavit. Ooh. Nice earthy caraway. Ooh, funky fennel. Oh no, funky dill, sorry. And then that nice, nice fennel coming through at the very finish. And the coriander citrus are just there in the very, very background. What a fantastic little number. <laughs> On the nose. The caraway, like you have to, like when people say caraway, you think of it, one dimensional flavor and you're like well there's a seed there's a husk there's everything so this is a very fragrant almost aromatic caraway in the way of like husky in a good way the dill is there it's dank dill because i'm a huge fan of dill but it's very dank it's very it's very like oh this is just if you're like a dill pep like a dill chip sort of person this is going to be right up your alley and then the fennel just comes through bright and in the in the background Oh, on the palate, oh yeah. Much more earthy tones from this Akavit. So you've got this, the bright acidity, uh, the bright uh, nature of the distillate in the back, but then you've got this beautiful, aromatic, earthy caraway. The dill is still there. It's quite danky in a good way. Like dank is a good, like wet dill, freshly cut off in springtime. The fennel is there. But not overpowering, which a lot of Akavits can become. The sort of super overpowering and knees sort of flavor profile. And this interesting coriander just hanging out in the background going, Hey guys, you do your thing. We'll be back here hanging out. So if you're a fan of Akavit like I am, this is a fantastic addition to my collection. I really love my Akavits. I have pretty much every Akavit available in BC right now. Um, the Bruinwood Akavit does not disappoint it's a very different Akavit than I'm used to with the uh, Sheringham and the Akavitas from Okanagan Spirits, but in a really earthy, almost um, culinary way, in a way that it would really pair really fantastic with some deep foods. Whereas your, your Sheringhams and your Akavitas from Okanagan Spirits, it's going to be with like briny fish. This is going to pair with really deep, hearty Scandinavian dishes if you're a Scandinavian. Brew and Akavit. As always, guys, thanks for the support. See you tomorrow.